Greeting brothers and sisters in the Lord. It is a privilege for us to again get together tonight around the word. The scripture for tonight is Matthew chapter 5 and verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Just so far. Jesus talking about the kingdom of heaven is bringing to his disciple and those who were sitting there listening to him a completely different mindset compared to what was the norm of the day. He's teaching them about the kingdom of heaven. He's teaching them how the citizen of heaven should behave. He said to them in verse 7 that you are blessed when you show mercy. Blessed are you who are merciful. Why you will receive mercy. You will receive mercy. The same adjective merciful we find it also in the New Testament in Hebrew chapter 12, verse 17. Mercy is something you get not because you have worked hard. Mercy is something you get because of the kindness, the compassion. And Jesus is saying to his disciple, be compassionate, be kind. Show mercy to one another. It doesn't matter how strong, how undeserving they are, how bad they have messed up. Be merciful. Michelle Obama said, people who are truly strong lift others up. People who are truly powerful bring others together, unquote. When someone have done really bad and that when we look in the, our response should be to punish them. What is our, our attitude? When we look at someone who have disappointed us, when we look at someone who truly don't deserve to be again fellowshipping with us or partaking with us because of what they've done. Jesus is saying, show mercy. Show mercy because God showed us mercy. While we were sinners, while we were enemies of God, he showed us mercy. While we were walking down the road toward death, eternal death, God came and showed us his mercy. Hear what he's saying in Romans chapter 5, verse 6. For while we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person. Though perhaps for a good person, one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were still sinners, while we deserved death, Christ died for us. God showed mercy and he is encouraging us to portray the same mercy toward others. How do you and I behave toward those who are weaker? How do we behave toward those who deserve punishment? Don't we sometimes think 
we're gonna crush them the world today is shaking uh, I watch, watch on, watching on television uh, the entire United States is marching in all major cities because of the death of George Floyd in South Africa we have similar case and all that because we repaying one another for what we deserve but what I want to encourage us is can we look and see others through the lens of Jesus Christ of mercy and that we see each other as brothers and that we forgive each other as God has forgiven us and that we look past our weaknesses our sins and mistakes that our differences don't create complex of superiority or inferiority because we have we're showing each other the mercy of God because we're looking at others through that which God is looking the mercy can we bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit and live by that if we have mercy it will display into the fruit of the Holy Spirit hear what Paul is saying Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22 but the fruit of the Spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control against such thing there is no law where there is mercy the fruit of the Holy Spirit and the law is not against that yes this world sometimes we are trying hard to make it a better place to be but we are citizen of heaven and citizen of heaven as citizen of heaven we got to show mercy toward one another if you are looking at your brother and you see the past mistakes your brother or your sister and you seeing the past mistakes you gotta show mercy let us bring it closer to home South Africa uh, a country where anger is just at our doorstep are we being merciful people of different races or are we showing mercy superficially but in our heart we're different I want to encourage us as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ to apply this there is a reward that we will obtain mercy as we show mercy toward others just few a page or so in chapter 6 Matthew chapter 6 in verse 14 Jesus is saying for if you forgive others their trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses can we look at our own lives how much we've fallen in sin and God still forgive us how much are you ready to forgive others and to consider them brothers and sisters how much are you ready to look at the other race which is different from yours and say the same mercy God have shown me 
I am going to show toward. You might have been a victim of an attack or someone in your family might have been aggressed or fallen victim of another communities or a different cultural person. Mercy. 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 May God bless us. Amen.